Welcome to our Supermicro Tech Talk. Today I have with us our Senior Solutions Manager, Alok Shavasta. How are you doing today, Alok? Pretty good, thanks, Heather. So what GPU server are you going to share with us today? Oh, perfect. So today we are going to talk about a 4U GPU system. This is based on AMD platform and is powered by NVIDIA's HDX A100 GPUs. This is our fifth generation of parallel computing servers. And we are proud to say that Supermicro has largest GPU server portfolio in the industry. And this particular server is designed for modern workloads. So Alok, what verticals and applications would this machine be most suitable for? Well, uh, today's, uh, in today's digital age, the biggest challenge and opportunity uh, the organ or that organizations face is rooted in data. And uh, the, the core idea for this particular system is to address those, uh, those large and growing install base in terms of artificial intelligence, high performance computing, and uh, analytics. So this server is just introduced. We just introduced this server, but it is in big demand with the power users of AI. And that includes financial services, automotive, healthcare, retail, industrial, oil and natural gas. So the, the most fundamental component of artificial intelligence is a well-trained machine. And to train a machine well, you need to process lots and lots of data in order to convert that data into information. And uh, the, the data sets and the models are growing. It is exploding right now. Um, the models are be becoming larger and better. And uh, that is the thing actually, that is the key. With larger and better models, you can train you can train your machine well and bring the error rates down so with error rates down now what is happening it is becoming more and more acceptable to the um, to the enterprises and that is what is a very big fueling factor but having said that the complexity of the data is also changing it is exploding right now so just to put things in perspective in order to keep your models updated you need to process petaflops of data per day per second to keep your models updated. And uh, just to give you an example, you just five years back, the models, whatever compute power was needed to process those, uh, those models is now grown 30,000 times more, which is, you know, it is just explosion. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you do the math, so it is doubling every two months. But, it is worth processing the, that data because AI, you know, uh, AI has lots and lots of value and it is, AI is incredible. So what key challenges of the modern cloud data center can this machine be expected to address a lot? First of all, the most important thing is diverse applications, scale up and scale out workloads and uh, unstable demand. So these are the three key features, basically, you know, key challenges the modern data centers are facing these days. And uh, the, the biggest challenge for modern data center is to cater to these workloads, which is, you know, the most important thing is, which is very unpredictable. It is spiky in nature. And for that, to predict exactly the amount of compute or, you know, do the infrastructure planning, that is a very big challenge. Say, in most of the cases, peop what people do, they over-provision. The, their infrastructure. And if they over provision the infra infrastructure, then they are not doing justice to the TCO. If they under provision the infrastructure, then they are not doing justice to the application. So in order to maintain the balance between the two, it is a really, really tough task and it is it is not that easy. So um, to, to keep TCO in check, the utilization of your infrastructure is the key. And uh, for those type of things, you know, this particular machine is designed so that it can take care of those spiky nature and you can configure the system exactly according to your demand. That is one thing. The second thing is that what people so far used to do, they used to have different clusters in their data center. Say for example, one for um, inferencing, one for training, and one for analytics. So they used to have these silos in their data center for uh, for these type of workload infrastructure what they used to have but that is not a good way of handling these type of workloads modern data center workloads so there was a demand in the market to have a machine which is specifically designed 
to handle this spiky nature and this modern data center workload. And this is the machine that is perfectly you know, tailored for these type of workloads. Okay, so what can you tell us about what's underneath the hood? So first, let me give you a real quick overview of this one. So this is a Forio system based on AMD platform. Um, it can take any of the two CPUs that is available in the market. One is uh, Milan and one is Rome. Uh, it has uh, eight A100 GPUs, HGX form factor. And uh, it has 32 DIMM sockets that can scale up to eight terabytes of memory, which is huge. Mm -hmm. And it has six NVMe U.2 drives, hot swappable. So with, with this, you know, what happens out of um, these six drives, four are connected via PCI switch and two via CPU. On top of that, it has two M.2 drives also. Those drives you can use for your operating system. It has 10 expansion slots, out of which eight are connected via PCI switch that you can use for GPU Direct RDMA. And uh, it has four 2200 watts of uh, power supply, redundant power supply. So this is just the overview of this particular system. On top of that, you know what happens? Um, we call it, you know, the upper deck and the lower deck of this particular system. So the lower deck is with HGX board that has eight A100 GPUs on that one. And those eight A100 GPUs in turn are connected to the NV switch via NV link. And that NV link is gives capability of six, uh, that NV link gives capa capability of 600 gigabytes per second of bandwidth, provides bandwidth. So for peer-to-peer -peer communication between the two GPUs, you, you get 600 gigabytes of um, bandwidth. With the previous generation, it was just 300 gigabytes. So it is doubled. You can see the difference here. And on top of that, each A100 GPU right now at this point of time in the market is one of the most advanced GPUs in the market. And that too, you are having eight of them connected with such a high bandwidth in a non-blocking architecture. That is the beauty of the system. So all these things, non-blocking architecture, eight A100 GPUs, very powerful GPUs connected together like this, makes it a very, very powerful compute unit. In order to keep this compute unit hydrated, what you need, basically you need hot data sit, sit, sitting very close to this, um, this compute unit. So for that, there are four NVMe drives on which the hot data can, you can, you can put your hot data and uh, the GPUs get access via this PCI switch. So they are not using the CPU cycles and your CPU cycles are available for uh, applications. On top of that, it has eight uh, PCI Gen 4 slots available that can be used for, um, for, uh, for your add-on cards, just like, you know, Connect X6. Mm -hmm. That, that could be up to 200 gigabits per second. And eight of them you can put on, put on this particular system and can be used for clustering. And uh, uh, that, that gives you also the, the option for doing GPU Direct or DMA. And you have two more slots available for um, your server management so on this particular system. At the same time, you have additional uh, capability on this server that is called AIOM that supports OCP 3.0. Mm -hmm. So this is, this is what this particular system represents. So this looks like a great fit for AI applications, is that right? That is true. On top of this, you know, what I just described was for your training and uh, deep learning, those type of applications. But at the same time, this NVIDIA's A100 GPU, this has a new feature that is called MIG. And MIG stands for multi-instance GPUs. And that is the uh, ability of one GPU to turn into many. You can have one GPU or you can have up to seven independent GPUs. On, you, you can slice and dice this in uh, up to seven independent GPUs. So, or something in between. So what is happening, there are eight A100 GPUs. If you slice and dice each GPU into seven partitions, you can turn this machine into 56 partitions of compute unit, of the, the GPU compute units available to you, which is huge. Mm -hmm. And not only that, the each partition gives you compute power, which is equivalent to previous generations, one of the best GPU that was V100. So that gives you compute power equivalent to that. So you can turn this machine into uh, 56 
independent partitions each giving you cap compute capability of v100 gpu which is huge right so that is good fit for scale out type of applications so you see that previously you know what i described was good for scale up mm -hmm. and this is a scale out so you can see the flexibility of this particular system and this is the beauty that you are getting so much you know flexibility for these type of workload and you get lots and lots of value and performance from this particular system you mentioned there's more options on this server. Could you tell me a little bit more about what they are? Yeah, perfect. So on this particular system, yeah, I said uh, there are four 2200 watts power supply. But, you know, there was a constant demand for, um, from our customers because they wanted to fully populate the system and so many other things. And at the same time, they wanted N plus and redundancy. So for that, we introduced a new SKU that is, you know, same SKU part number, but with at the end, there is plus. So that plus represents 3000 watt power supply, four 3000 watt power supply that give, gives you N plus and redundancy on the system. At the same time, the most important feature, the new feature what I described was GP direct storage. So, you know, right now this particular system has four drives available for GP direct storage. On the rear side, there is, uh, you can put four more drives, hot swappable NVMe U.2 drives, and you can double the capacity for GPU direct storage. So what happens, instead of say um, four drives, now you have eight drives available for GPU direct storage. So you are getting um, GPU direct storage, double the capacity and uh, eight NICs, which gives you a ratio of one to one from you know either ways, whatever you see. And uh, at the same time, this system, as I said, you know, you can do a scale out and a scale up, all those type of uh, uh, things are available on this system. So it gives you performance on both ends, a scale up and a scale out. This is the beauty of the system. What can you tell me about additional software that we can offer? So first of all, this is NVIDIA certified system. And uh, this comes with preload option because, you know, our customers, they need different type of mm -hmm. things. So it comes with preload option for NGC software. NGC stands for um, NVIDIA GPU Cloud. And uh, you, you, can, you can download or you, you know, we can install on this one uh, whatever AI framework you're looking for, PyTorch, TensorFlow, or MaxNet. These are the, you know, any, anything of that sort, you can, we can load it for you, any framework. At the same time, on operating system, we have two options. By default, it is with the, um, Ubuntu operating system and you have option to choose Red Hat also if you want you, you can we can load Red Hat also for you mm -hmm. at the same time you can buy um, NGC services also from Supermicro with NGC services what is happening your this system and if you are using any public cloud so you can keep those two you know your public cloud and your private cloud consistent because NVIDIA updates that I think you know almost on a monthly basis so on monthly basis, you are uh, you are updating your this system, which is uh, your private cloud. It could be your private cloud, mm -hmm. and at the same time, with public cloud, whatever you are using, you are using Google, Azure, or uh, or Amazon cloud, whatever you are using, they all offer this this capability. So, so here you can see that um, this is this is how you can ma maintain consistency uh, on your software mm -hmm. stack also with, with this particular system. So what would you like the viewers to walk away with from this machine? Okay, so the most important thing is that the complexity of AI demands tight integration between the, between the platform. And uh, with this new building block, you can enjoy a linear approach to, to your AI workloads. And this is the best way to tackle your AI. So you can avoid the, the time loss on system integration, infrastructure planning, and those type of things. You can use this machine as one big monolithic or 56 independent GPUs. So this way it is really good for a scale up and a scale out type of architecture, diverse application. And it really, really, you can, you know, handle the instable demand or the fluctuations in your workload. So that's why we call this machine as one of the most comprehensive systems for AI infrastructure. Thank you. And thank you to you all for joining us for our Supermicro Tech Talk. Thanks.
To learn more about our NVIDIA HGX A100 powered GPU servers, visit www.supermicro.com forward slash A100. And for more Supermicro Tech Talks, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.